Uh, and what's up guys it's your boy cover the game and so today i'm gonna be showing you guys a couple videos and a couple things in clash of clans and so my base basically has been staying up two attacks now i'm gonna be going from attacks that i've been getting lately from other people in clash of clans now these attacks aren't going to be the best, these aren't going to be the worst, these are just going to be a couple attacks that I've been getting recently and then I'm going to be showing you guys attacks that I've been doing, what's been going on with me in Clash of Clans and lately i just been upgrading. As you guys could see, I have 1, 2, 3, level 11 cannons and you guys haven't seen me in like 5 days. I really haven't been posting Clash of Clans because mostly i just been upgrading my cannons. So, that's basically what I've kind of been doing. And normally, once I upgrade one thing, I upgrade multiple things. So, you guys can see I have two cannons upgrading right then and there at this time of this attack. No, in this attack, my cannons are still being upgraded. But people have been mostly attacking me for my loot. And I've been switching up where my loot is because I noticed that I have more loot on one side than the other. Basically talking about my right side has more loot than you could take on the left side. And I was noticing for a second, I was like, wait, they're the same length. But really, I have a couple obstacles on my left side that's taking up space so I can actually put loot there. And people have been attacking me, failing for this attack. Now here's a very recent attack that has happened not too long ago and guys, you guys do not know, the free spell actually worked and it actually helped me out. Now this person wanted to try to go, I think they're trying to go for a 2 star, maybe even 3 star. Now I'm doing a clan war right now and they took, they took, basically took out my defenses and I don't think they destroyed all of them, but Clash of Clans, how Clash of Clans is. No matter if they've been killed or attacked, they're going to die. And so basically, if my troops don't die in war, in um, battle, they're just, I can't use them again. Which in other games, you can still use your troops. Now, another thing that I notice is whenever people place, they basically, they have full health troops and then they place a hill so the troops could go and stay full health. You guys could see there, basically, the fro the free spell froze them. And so basically, it pops up, as you guys just saw. So basically, guys, here's one final time. But normally, when you're doing a mass giant raid, you want to wait for your troops to go half health. And I'm going to tell you guys why. It popped up, as you guys see. And then it splashes down on them. Now you want to wait for your stuff to go. Your troops go half health. Because a hill is supposed to heal them. When they're full health and you drop a hill spell on them full health. You're basically just keeping them at the same HP they are. I would wait for my giants to go 50% health. So then I could take them back up to 100. So if that's my last hill spell. Then basically I could use my giants full length of lifetime span. Now, as you guys can see, this person actually lost pretty bad. And you guys are going to see something that's pretty cool in this attack. But this isn't your last attack that you will see.
Basically, guys, we're doing pretty good in this clan war. I'm hoping that we win this clan war, but we might lose. We might win. Now, really, everyone hopes that their clan goes in big and wins, but not everyone's clan does that. You ain't just let me lose, so. Now, with hogs and them being low health HP and them, like, not being 300 or 600 HP troops, you really need to watch out how you watch their, basically, their lifespan, their health. So, whenever I use hogs, I would basically place down a hill spell once they get into mad damage because they could actually die off pretty fast and that they don't have big health like giants have like 600 to 1000 HP or I don't think 1000 but like 600 to 500 HP they only have like 100 or should I say 360 HP comparing to giants 670 giants really have some HP to rely on Hogs really don't have that much HP to rely on but giants they do Nothing guys and I'm showing you guys attacks now. I don't want to be talking through this whole video So I'm just showing you guys attacks not talking because I don't want to I do want to commentate, but I'm not going to commentate for everything. Now, another thing is that I'm not going to, like, let you guys watch the video, watch every raid, one by one by one, because it kind of gets after a while. Not annoying, but what I'm saying is it kind of gets where you're, like, bored. You're watching, you're just, oh, he's doing this attack and this attack and this attack. So I'm only going to be showing you guys... Um, attacks that happen from both sides, not just my side, as you guys could see, but attacks from both sides. Now, this is a mass minor attack, which you guys see a lot of frame rate because a lot of stuff's happening. But I'm basically I'm trying to speed it through. But if I go really slow, then it's not gonna be that much, much rate. But you guys see the miners that are going underneath. He has wasted all of his spells. And what happens in this raid is so sad. <laughs> Any clasher would hate this. And I'm not going to spoil it though. He was at 99%. Uh... You guys see what I see? No. Now I'm guessing that this attack was supposed to be a troll, or really he just wanted to take out those um, expos. But he placed down four Santa spells right there, and you really don't see Santa spells used to attack. And I wonder, why did he use lightnings? Because he could have took the expos out with two lightnings. And then, um, two lightnings and then an earthquake. And once you're able to upgrade earthquakes level 3, that actually changes it. Because you could take out two air defenses. But no, he used it. And you really don't see Santa spells used in clan wars. You rarely see that. Because Santa spells haven't been out for a long time. And they're normally not out um, they're only out in Christmas, so they're not going to be out forever where you can use them wherever you want. So that's really one cool thing that you guys could see. And here's another attack and raid with Santa spells that you guys will see. It's pretty cool how people could actually put these, these Santa spells in a raid and use them, but they're not efficient like you would think. And they actually been changing... As I will show you guys sooner or later, you guys can see there, they use them. The thing is that 
the sense of spells really don't even drop rage, um, not, yeah, don't even drop presence in your war base, and you can get them out your war base. Okay, as you guys can see, we're even 29 and 29, and I'm going to be going to do attack. So guys, here's basically my game plan. As you guys can see right here, I'm going to try to funnel into here, and basically, I'm going to destroy the earthquake. I'm going to destroy that one and that one, and then have my troops come and destroy this one. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to destroy this one, basically... Destroy the stuff here to lure out the troops. And what I should do is destroy this one. And this one. But destroy this one. Keep this one. Because this one has a lot of bits by it. So destroy that one. Damage this one. And then come and kill this one. And the only things I really have to worry about is the queen and the ex. So yeah. That's going to be my game plan. Let's go in. My. My clan members really didn't want to donate nothing to me besides spells, so what I'm gonna do. I forward my troops in, which one said I lead since my my heroes are gonna die. I mean, not troops, heroes. Mmm. Rage up my king. Come on, go to them. Get those troops lured. There we go, lava pup. Okay. So, as I think about it. I'm gonna jump down right there, then I'm gonna go. Okay guys, so this basically how the attack's going to be going out. And I basically took out actually all the good well all the air defenses so now i really just have to attack and just let my troops go and do their thing okay i got a one star which i was really hoping for a two star because i normally out of all you want to get a two star but it was a good effort I would say if my troops didn't die, not my troops, if my heroes didn't die, then yeah, it would have been good. But I let them die. It's what happens. You're not going to do your best every time. But I did go out with a different game plan. And I think if, if I went my first game plan, I wouldn't even get 50%. So yeah, there you guys go. 50% personal best. And I get all that. And yeah. So now we have 30 stars instead of 29. Okay, guys, so that's basically what I put in clan chat to help out my clan members. It's a good attack. And yeah, I got the Christmas tree. But guys, basically, here's my base, and this is what it looks like. Um, I have one more cannon upgrading, and my clan castle is going up. My clan castle is going up to level 4, which I could hold 30 troops. And yeah, it's basically it will be as a kind of subscribe to this for more as Kurgan and I am out. Peace.